Welcome to week one of Physical Sciences 152, which is South Carolina State University's Foundation of Earth Space Science. This video is meant to be a little bit of an overview of what we're going to be doing here in week one. First thing I want to emphasize to you is the difference between lecture and resources. In some courses, your professor might record three 50-minute videos, and those are meant to be your main source of information. In this class, you really need to read, and those sections that I assign from the textbooks or other information are going to be your primary source of information. But there's also going to be other resources, which are going to include some videos, like a few that we'll have this week, maybe some charts or other images, activities, and the combination of all of those combines together to give you the information you need for each week. This week, one of the primary things that we're going to be looking at is the course syllabus. You need to read that syllabus carefully and ask questions about it. Now, to make sure you actually do that, you're going to have to take a syllabus review and then repeat as necessary. Because as we're learning with the scientific method, if you test yourself and you don't get all the answers right, that means you need to go back and reread the syllabus, ask some more questions, and then try again until you're sure you have a firm understanding of what's going on. So the scientific method, again, is one of the other topics that we're covering here this week. And this really should be a review because you've probably been presented with the basics of the scientific method several times throughout your education up to this point. A few of the things that I want to just stress to you a little bit is that it's not just a prescribed set of steps. It's more that there are certain required elements. It's an ongoing process, and it's a little bit more flexible than fluid than you might have had presented to you in your earlier education. In addition to reviewing all this information, you're going to discuss a little bit about what science is to you in a photojournal assignment. The last topic that we're going to cover a little bit this week is science versus non-science. And there's a criteria that are used to distinguish between what we consider science and what we consider to be not science. I'm going to have an extra video to fill in a little bit of extra information as well as an activity that you're going to complete. And I want to stress that this is not a value judgment. I've seen too many textbooks or other science people who basically imply that science is the only reliable method to learn about our world. And that's not necessarily true, but we do need to understand what science is and what science is not and what things are not science. So as you work through everything this week, check on Blackboard, check the summaries, ask questions as you need to to make sure that you're covering all of this content over the course of this week. 